another beautiful morning here. Sun's up. The river is really high. We've uh, came here last year around fall and we were able to walk almost all the way across this little creek. Now it's a raging river. Where we're sitting now, we're at a little bit of a rocky point where water comes back into the mainstream. Here, you can see as it kind of comes around this point, it comes in and does little eddies and small whirlpools as it goes by. It's really quite cool. this camping spot to ourselves for uh, two days right up until just before we went to bed last night when a uh, fairly large camper came down this road and stayed for the night but uh, they're off in the distance so not a big deal All right, so let's start from the beginning, I yep. guess, and uh, why we decided to buy this trailer, or buy, buy a trailer, and why this trailer. So I started seriously looking at campers uh, back about two years ago. Um, we looked at a bunch of different ones. We looked at a few of the brands that were in the States just before the pandemic hit. Yep. And so that kind of stopped us from being able to go see anything. And so last, you started looking at trailers that were being built in Canada. Yeah, and I did a, a web search and the first thing that came up was Arcto Campers, which is uh, being built out of uh, Edmonton and they're a brand new company. So it was uh, quite intriguing. And because it was relatively close, we decided to fly out there and visit the factory and meet the people that built it. Shortly after that, we put money down on this camper and decided yeah. to buy their prototype. Yeah since there was basically no wait from that perspective. Yeah, we're, we didn't want to wait. <laughs> we're too impatient to wait. Yeah. And uh, so now we've had this camper for what, three three to four weeks? Uh, probably a month now. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Yeah, that would be four weeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we've always just been in a tent. Yeah. And so... This feels like a big upgrade. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and it feels huge when we're first using it. I think the nicest thing is once we get here, I really do like the size of this trailer. For two people, we've yeah. got a nice queen size bed. Yeah. We've got an area inside to sit, uh, play cards and eat if we want to, um, if it's raining. And then we've got this fantastic outdoor area. Actually, I really enjoy the galley and um, it's really functional. And uh, we have a really nice size refrigerator, freezer combination, which is, um, more than what we've needed so far. I mean, it looks like we could probably provision for, what, two weeks? One of the reasons we bought this trailer in particular um, was because of its off-road capability. Yeah, which yeah. matches the capability of the truck we bought. Yeah. Well, this trailer has, uh, I think it's about 31 inch tires, which are on uh, independent suspension. Uh, it's got a really, really solid frame. Um, mm. The trailer is hooked to the truck with uh, what's called a max coupler, which allows for the trailer to both turn and um, uh, sway in any direction without actually ever having a chance of falling off of the, yeah. the trailer hitch. Drive up to this campsite was quite interesting. Uh, 25 kilometers along a Forest Service road. Not too difficult, but actually a fairly steady grade up all the way to this small mountain lake. Yeah. Uh, the last little bit felt like it was uh, a lot worse. Which is funny, again, because you get up here and you go, oh, there's nobody gonna be here. And then there's like these huge campers here and it's like they've been gumbooting it up here <laughs> yeah. it's really funny <laughs> yeah, and yeah. These, it's, it's just an interesting thing that we have to get used to yeah and i mean we've only been doing this for about a month now so each time we do this we get a little better you know, yeah my a little bit more comfortable <laughs> my backup capabilities become a <laughs> tiny bit better each time this time it was only what three or four 
back and forth before yeah. I got into the site. Dog. You see that butterscotch on the roof of its mouth? What was that like? Huh? 